Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpata Karva and in this video, I am going to be giving you a complete and detailed review of Shift 1 paper of UGC Net English that happened on 13th of October 2022. Now, I'm really sorry for the delayed review. I know that I'm a little late in releasing the review, but that is because I wanted to give you a detailed and authentic review as opposed to a superficial review where I just speak to like two, three students and based on the questions that they remember or how they felt the paper was, I uh, give a review on a YouTube channel like mine where there are five lakh students who are listening to me so i wanted to give you a detailed and authentic review and that i did after researching about the question paper i spoke to almost all my students who are enrolled in the courses then i spoke to a lot of students who are connected to me on whatsapp and other social media platform and based on that i gathered all the questions and i also understood what they felt about the paper so after receiving so many calls and messages and after having Zoom live uh, with my registered students where I spoke face to face uh, with all my students and I understood uh, what they felt about the paper, I am finally here with a detailed review about Shift 1 paper of UGC Net English. And I'm also going to share my critical insights uh, in this video on what was the paper pattern, how was this different or similar to the previous years and what should be the preparation strategy. I am also going to share light on the expected cutoff that I feel uh, is going to come after looking at and analyzing the paper. Okay, but before I move forward, I would just like to give you a small uh, message that we have a, a WhatsApp number that is displayed on screen. And if you want to know the question paper and if you want to get your hands on the answer key, then you can drop a WhatsApp message on the number displayed there. And my team is going to provide you with the question paper as well as the answer key. And we are also going to keep you notified about all the important UGC net examination detail. Uh, now, let us f finally go and talk about the question paper of shift one UGC net English. But if we want to understand the question paper and see whether it was from the syllabus or it was out of the syllabus, we need to first know the syllabus, right? Now, if you look at the UGC net syllabus that is given on their official website, it just talks about 10 units, drama, poetry, fiction, nonfiction. They have not given any topics that needs to be studied in all those units. So it's a very indicative uh, syllabus and nobody can clear net just by referring to that syllabus and that is the mistake what most of the students do so in order to analyze whether the paper was from the syllabus or not we need to first know the syllabus and to do that we are going to go to arpatakarva.com wherein after analyzing past 20 years paper we have finally made a very descriptive syllabus of ugc net english and we are very proud to tell you that we are the only only institute all over the world which has such a detailed syllabus available on the website and such a detailed syllabus which we cover in our online course also so we have analyzed the question paper we have seen the trends and based on that we have divided the entire ugc net syllabus into 13 modules and we cover all these 13 modules in our online course even if you are not a part of the online course, you have free access to the syllabus. And I recommend that anybody who wants to prepare for UGC net should look at it as the primary source of material. And from there, they should start preparing uh, their notes or they should start referring to other books, but they should first of all, try to cover all the topics that we have listed in the syllabus. So there are approximately 850 topics that are there in the UGC net syllabus from which every year questions are asked. So it is very important that you first look at the syllabus and then from that syllabus, let us see that what kind of questions were asked and were they from the syllabus or were they out of the syllabus? Okay. So let us look at the questions one by one. I have gathered all the questions from the students and segregated them module wise so that it is easier for me to present it in front of you. As you know that we at arpatakarva.com love to structure and simplify your preparation. And the same thing we have done with the uh, question paper that we have received from so many students. So if we look at module number one, which is British literature, let us see how many questions were asked. So approximately the idea is that about 30 to 40 questions were asked from British literature. 
few of the questions that we have received from the students are they have asked questions from the popular bible translation which is a topic that we cover under elizabethan uh, literature so they have talked about coverdale's bible when i am talking about elizabethan literature i always say that because of the advent of printing press in the entire britain a lot of bible translations were happening so you must know who were the writers associated did they translate only the new testament or did they translate the old testament as well then there was a question from pb shelley's unfinished work then a question from harold pinter they have given a statement and a conclusion they asked us to analyze it then there was a chaucer a uh, question from geoffrey chaucer's house of fame there was a question from thomas middleton's women beware women they asked the publication date of this work then there was a question from dante gabriel rossetti and uh, a work associated like a movement a group associated with dg rossetti that was fleshly school of poet poetry so you must know that how was it associated with dg rossetti then there were matching of the years question where they gave four works and they gave four years and the common works were wasteland by t s eliot sons and lovers by d h lawrence so you had to match them with the year similar year wise question was asked from shakespeare and tragedies as well then there was a question from doris lessing's and doris lessing's works doris lessing is another important british writer then there was a question from thomas knid revenger's tragedy a writer that we all study under elizabethan period and then there was a question from george chapman another a uh, renaissance writer who translated homer so if you look at the questions that came from british literature they focused on both the periods renaissance uh, renaissance and the period around that and they also focused on the modern works t s eliot we had uh, you know doris lessing and harold pinter so modern bhi cover kiya hai and purano se bhi pucha hai to aisa nahi hai ki purano ko neglect hi kar diya hai okay मूविंग अहेड टू मॉड्यूल नंबर टू अमेरिकन लिटरेचर यहाँ से अभी तक हमारे पास यही खबर मिली है कि एक क्वेश्चन आया था फ्रॉम अर्नस्ट हेमिंग वे दे वेर दे गेव अ कोटेशन अ मैन कैन बी डिस्ट्रॉइड बट नॉट डिफीटेड दिस वॉज अ कोट फ्रॉम विच वर्क एंड द वर्क वॉज ओल्ड मैन एंड द सी सो अर्नस्ट हेमिंग वे से आया है बट जरूरी नहीं है कि अगर अर्नस्ट हेमिंग वे से आया तो अगली बार भी वहीं से आएगा देर आर सो मेनी अदर अमेरिकन लिटरेचर राइटर्स विच आर आस्ड इन नेट एग्जाम एंड वो सबकी लिस्ट आपको वेबसाइट पर मिलेगी सो आई वुड वॉन्ट यू टू नेक्स्ट टाइम भी प्रिपेयर Add with all those because this bar Ernest Hemingway हो सकता है next bar किसी और से question आए moving forward to module number थ्री post colonial literature post colonial से वी एस नाइपॉल से क्रोनोलॉजी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन आया है मार्गरेट एक्टवुड से क्वेश्चन आया है एन यूंगी वा थियांगो से क्वेश्चन आया है ऑन हिज वर्क एस ए ऑन लिटरेचर सो एज यू कैन सी इन्होंने पोस्ट कलोनियल को भी कवर किया है एवरी टाइम आई टेल स्टूडेंट्स के आप को सारे पोएट ड्रामेटिस्ट राइटर्स एज इन फिक्शनल एंड नॉन फिक्शनल राइटर हर कंट्री के कवर करने दैट मीन्स मॉड्यूल वन इज ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर देन इज अमेरिकन मॉड्यूल थ्री इज पोस्ट कलोनियल मॉड्यूल फोर इज यूरोपियन मॉड्यूल फाइव इज इंडियन ये पाँचों जगहों के आपको सारे पोएट्स ड्रामेटिस्ट नॉवलिस्ट एंड नॉन फिक्शन राइटर्स सब कुछ कवर करना है कहीं से भी क्वेश्चन आ सकता है सो आई ऑलवेज बिलीव इन रैदर देन गोइंग बाय ऑल द ड्रामेटिस्ट टूगेदर इट इज बेटर यू रीड ऑल द राइटर्स ऑफ वन पर्टिकुलर एज और वन पर्टिकुलर कंट्री वेदर दे आर पोएट ड्रामेटिस्ट फिक्शन नॉन फिक्शन सो दैट यू गेट टू नो हाउ ऑल ऑफ देम वो इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय ईच अदर राइट मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू द फोर्थ मॉड्यूल यूरोपियन दिस टाइम एज इज एज ऑफ वॉट आई हैव हर्ड टिल नाउ दे डिंट आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यूरोपियन लिटरेचर बट लास्ट ईयर दे वो आस्किंग अबाउट टेन टू ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यूरोपियन सो यू कॉन्ट मिस आउट यूरोपियन जस्ट बिकॉज दे हैवेंट आज इट दिस टाइम बिकॉज द ट्रेंड कीप्स ऑन चेंजिंग एवरी ईयर एंड वी मूव टू मॉड्यूल नंबर फाइव इंडियन लिटरेचर इंडियन लिटरेचर से इस बार इन शिफ्ट वन देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम अमिताभ घोष एबिस ट्रायोलॉजी से देन देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इंडियन एस्थेटिक्स गाइज इंडियन एस्थेटिक्स इज अगेन समथिंग विच इज वेरी वेरी क्रूशियल इफ यू गो टू द वेबसाइट यू विल सी ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट राइटर्स दैट हैव लिस्टेड इन द इंडियन एस्थेटिक्स मस्ट बी कवर्ड बाई एवरी एन टी ए यू जी सी इन नाइट इंग्लिश एस्परेंट okay so this was about the first five modules now moving on to the sixth module criticism now criticism se 5 to 10 questions aaye hain and can you believe in criticism there are just 25 writers that you have to study if you look at british literature british mein hum logo ke online course mein there are 350 writers that we teach 
एंड वहाँ से आपको थर्टी फोर्टी क्वेश्चन आते हैं इफ यू लुक एट क्रिटिसिज्म वहाँ पे सिर्फ ट्वेंटी फाइव राइटर्स हैं जहाँ से पाँच से दस क्वेश्चन आते हैं सो दिस इज समथिंग विच इज लाइक अ बोनस फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स अगर आपने ये ट्वेंटी फाइव राइटर्स को मास्टर कर लिया देन नथिंग कैन स्टॉप यू फ्रॉम क्लियरिंग नेट सो क्रिटिसिज्म से इन्होंने प्लेटो से क्वेश्चन दिया है व्यू ऑन पोइट्री एरिस्टोटल से क्वेश्चन आया है ऑन हिज लैंग्वेज थियोरीज देन विलियम वर्जवर्थ से क्वेश्चन आया है दे गेव अ स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम लिरिकल बैलेट्स एंड दे आर स्टार्स टू टेल वेदर द स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू और फॉल्स सो दैट वॉज ऑल द क्वेश्चन दैट केम फ्रॉम क्रिटिसिज्म मूविंग आई हेड टू मॉड्यूल नंबर सेवन लिटरी थियोरी नाउ लिटरी थियोरी माई फ्रेंड्स हैव been the most important module from which the maximum number of questions were asked this time so shift 2 ke andar to there were about 40 questions that i know right now which were asked from literary theory so shift 1 mein literary theory itna impactful nahi tha but shift 2 was full of literary theory and that is the reason why in our course you will see that there are more than 100 writers that we have listed that a student should cover in literary theory and for all these writers we provide detailed video lectures now that we have started with the animated videos we have become world's number one institute and the only institute which is providing you video classes and animated video lectures which use 3d graphics to teach english literature so all these novels poetry drama everything is created by using 3d graphics you can actually see the characters you can see them moving and everything looks like an animated movie so the concepts are so easy for everybody to absorb aap itne sare novels ki stories padhte hain wo aapko animated way mein samajh mein aa jati hai and then you know it becomes a cake walk for you so that's a initiative that we all have taken to make ugc net english extremely simple for everyone out there so you know you can go and check out the video lectures there are a few video lectures that we have uh, put in the demo section and there's a, a separate free course that we are giving uh, so that you can go and check out the kind of videos we are giving and i'm just telling this because we are the only institute across the world you will find which which provides video lectures and that to animated video lectures for ugc net english soch ke dekhe इतनी सारी नॉवेल्स है सबकी स्टोरीज आपको इतने सिंपल तरीके से बता दी जाएगी दैट यू नो इट वुड बी सो इजी फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड क्रैक दिस एग्जाम सो कमिंग बैक टू लिटरी थियोरी लिटरी थियोरी से आपने इस बार देखा होगा देवर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम स्टूअर्ट हॉल देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन आज दैट फ्रॉम विच यूनिवर्सिटी डज ही बिलोंग देन देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गायत्री स्पी वाक देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जैक लकान देन फेमिनिज्म पे काफ़ी सारे आए थे फेमिनिज्म के वर्क्स को क्रोनोलॉजिकली असेंबल करने के लिए क्वेश्चन था देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन स्टेजेस ऑफ फेमिनिज्म फेमिनिस्ट फेमिनाइन फीमेल इनको आपको सिक्वेंशली अरेंज करना था एलिन शो वॉल्टर हु इज अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फेमिनिस्ट राइटर उन्होंने एक बुक लिखी है लिटरेचर ऑफ देयर ओन उस पर क्वेश्चन था एंड देन देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम होमी के भाभा थर्ड स्पेस ओके तो आप देखेंगे थ्योरी से काफ़ी सारे क्वेश्चन आए बट जस्ट थ्योरी से नहीं आए इवन लिटरी टर्म्स एंड डिवाइसेज से आए मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट स्ट्रगल विद दिस थिंग कि वो एम एच अब्राहम्स इतनी बड़ी बुक है और उसमें इतने सारे टर्म्स एंड डिवाइसेज है दैट पीपल डोंट नो वॉट टू स्टडी एंड वॉट टू स्किप बट हम लोगों ने अपने ऑनलाइन कोर्स में विव जस्ट लिस्टेड द इम्पॉर्टेंट वंस एंड इस बार सारे जो टर्म्स एंड डिवाइसेज के क्वेश्चन थे वो सिर्फ उन इम्पॉर्टेंट वंस में से आए हैं ज्यूगमा आया है पिस्टोरल एलर्जी मेटाफर मेटोनमी हीरोइक कपलेट सो ऑल द वंस दैट वी टॉट बेस्ड ऑन द पास्ट ईयर पेपर एनालिसिस एंड बेस्ड ऑन द एनालिसिस ऑफ ऑल द सेट एग्जाम्स दैट हैपन नेशन वाइड सिर्फ वही टर्म्स एंड डिवाइसेज हम आपको पढ़ने को बोलते हैं जो नेट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है पूरी बुक नहीं रटनी है आपको मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू मॉड्यूल नाइन लिटरी मूवमेंट से क्या क्वेश्चन थे एंग्री यंग मैन पे क्वेश्चन था रियलिज्म फ्यूचरिज्म निहलिज्म को क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर में अरेंज करने का एक क्वेश्चन आया था मॉड्यूल टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व से इतने क्वेश्चन नहीं आए दैट वॉज इंग्लिश इन इंडिया कल्चरल स्टडीज लैंग्वेज इन पेडोलॉजी इससे आई डोंट नो वाई बट दे डिड नॉट फोकस मच ऑन दिस अदरवाइज अगर आप पहले के कुछ साल देखेंगे तो देर वो टाइम्स वेन कल्चरल स्टडीज से बहुत क्वेश्चन आए हैं लिंग्विस्टिक्स से दस दस क्वेश्चन आए हैं इस बार एक भी क्वेश्चन नहीं था तो दैट वॉज सरप्राइजिंग बट रिसर्च से एक क्वेश्चन हमें पता चला आया है दैट इज एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च इन सोशल साइंस सो वो क्वेश्चन जरूर आया था नाउ लुकिंग एट द 
रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन आई फेल दैट रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन जो फर्स्ट पोएट्री थी दैट केम फ्रॉम फिलिप लार्किस मिस्टर बीनली फिलिप लार्किन एज अ पोएट वी स्टडी इन मॉड्यूल वन ब्रिटिश लिटरेचर देन देर वॉज अ पैसेज फ्रॉम माइथोलॉजीज बाय रोल एंड बार्थ रोल एंड बार्थ अगैन वी स्टडी इन मॉड्यूल सेवन लिटरी थियरी सो इवन बोथ द रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन वर वेरी सिंपल बिकॉज यू नो द राइटर यू नो हिज राइटिंग स्टाइल सो इट बिकम्स ईजियर फॉर यू टू सॉल्व इट but looking at the overall paper there were few topics which were new which were not even present in the syllabus that we recommend and they were just two three one was bhagavad gita pe question aaya tha we still don't know what was the question like one question came from haruki murakami men without women so haruki murakami as a writer we don't teach right now in the course neither we recommend students because abhi tak kabhi questions nahi aaye the but this time for the first time they asked a question from haruki murakami and then there was a question from meena alexander too meena alexander though hum apne course mein padhate hain but we don't go into the details is but kafi detailed question aaya tha otherwise everything that came like most of the students to whom i spoke to of my online course they said that 90% questions were directly from the syllabus that we recommend to students and jo hamara online course ka syllabus hai and mujhe personally agar aap puche to main aapko bolungi this time they focused more on criticism theory they focused on minor writers of british literature contemporary writers and chronological questions bahut the उनका फोकस इस बार इंग्लिश इन इंडिया लैंग्वेज इन पेडोगी यूरोपियन लिटरेचर पे काफी कम था क्वेश्चन पैटर्न में मैच द फॉलोइंग ज्यादा देखा गया एंड स्टेटमेंट एंड कंक्लूजन बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस काफी सारे थे सो दिस वाज माय ओवरऑल एनालिसिस अबाउट द पेपर एंड आई थिंक दैट द कट ऑफ वुड बी समवेयर अराउंड सिक्सटी फॉर नेट जनरल कैंडिडेट्स के लिए एंड सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी फॉर जे फॉर जनरल कैंडिडेट्स अगेन so if you are getting 35 marks in paper 1 and approximately 60 marks in paper 2 uh, 60 questions right i meant 35 questions right in paper 1 and 60 questions right in paper 2 then i think it's a very good score and you would definitely clear this exam so that was my overall uh, analysis of the paper i hope that the analysis proved beneficial for you and uh, if in case you have any questions any doubts or you're looking for the official question paper and answer key feel free to put that on the whatsapp number that we have displayed on the screen and if you are looking forward to prepare for the upcoming ugc net exam then do go check out the most amazing video course available in the entire world for ugc net english literature it is an ex exceptional course that we have made with a lot of love uh, for all of you guys and i'm really really uh, happy to hear the reviews of the students who are enrolled in the course uh, they send us such overwhelming messages that i can't even share that with you so i hope that the course is going to add wonders in your ugc net preparation as well So that's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very soon with my next analysis. Uh, till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature, and stay tuned to arpatakarwa.com.